we're seeing more changes in the controversial guns in schools bill tonight. But despite the controversy, it passed overwhelmingly in committee and is ready to move on to the House floor. RTV6 reporter Norman Cox has new developments just in from the State House. One reason some people opposed the gun bill was because it mandated schools to put an armed guard or staff member on duty to protect the kids. Now the bill doesn't do that, but you probably wouldn't be able to find out if your kid's school has a guard or not. We can change this bill as we go forward. The new language would allow school districts to opt out of the armed guard law, but they would do so in a secret executive session. On an annual basis, at least once annually, that the governing body of a public school must hold an executive session to consider this. They all must hold it, regardless of their, what their plans are. And then in that executive session, they'll either apply for the waiver or, or not apply. The idea is to keep potential gunmen from knowing which schools have guards and which don't. The new language also requires staff members who serve as the guards to keep their guns hidden to protect their identity and also, once again, to keep a shooter guessing. But opponents still say the whole idea is bad and are particularly unhappy about what they see as a lack of training of the guards who would not have as much instruction as a regular police officer. Mothers are extremely concerned about the idea of a civilian armed in our schools. The idea of minimally trained armed individuals in our school is, to me, a mother of four, terrifying. But sponsors say this idea is better than the current situation and is logical and cost effective. At least they have a means of defense. Nothing is fail safe. I never said that. And, and every person in this room can acknowledge there's nothing we can do short of locking our schools down and turning them into prisons where everybody goes in and out one entrance and they're they're scanned. The bill passed the committee on a not quite party line vote. Two Democrats voted in favor of it and one Republican voted against. At the State House, I'm Norman Cox, RTV6. The bill has until Monday to pass the full House.